Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jurani Ruiz and in today's tutorial we're going to be doing this beautiful spring look. So if you are new to my channel, welcome and if you would like to see more videos like this one, please don't forget to subscribe. <music> Jumping into the tutorial today, we're going to start with my eyes first and I'm going to start applying the NYS concealer under my eyebrows just to highlight them and define them a little bit more. For eyeshadow primer, we're going to be using the Urban Decay. This is one of my favorite ones. I just love how it makes the eyeshadow so pigmented and it makes it last longer also. For me to make this look a little bit more springly looking, I decided to add up some yellow and I'm using this one from the NYS company. Then I decided to try something new and I went in with this palette that I found at Ulta and the price was just amazing. It's from the Revolution company and I love it guys. The pigmentation, it's so great, it's so amazing. In the colors, I was obsessed. Then I'm adding up on my crease a little bit of this kind of pinkish, purplish color. And then just to dip it out a little bit more, I decided to add up a little bit of dark brown on my outer corner crease. Going in with the concealer from ColourPop Cosmetics, I'm going to go ahead and start creating my cut crease. This is the second time trying this concealer and let me tell you guys, it's amazing for you guys to create cut creases. So I really recommend it. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my fingers and I'm going to start blending in the concealer with the eyeshadow. I feel like this tip helps a lot with the blending of the two colors. And then going in with the same palette from the Revolution Company, I'm going to start applying this kind of whitish pink color on top of the concealer. Once the blending is done, I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up every residual of eyeshadow under my eyes. And I will be using this wipes from Equit, Equate Company. You know guys, I'm so Spanish. And then going in with the NYS eyeliner, which is one of my favorite ones. It's just so easy to apply or manage or just work with it. I'm gonna start creating a really nice wing liner and then I'm gonna start correcting a little bit under it with my concealer and my brush just to make the perfection and make it a little bit more nicer. Jumping in into eyeliner pencil, I'm gonna go ahead and start using this one from Lancome, which I love because it has a creamier texture and it does not make my eyes water because most of them do. Jumping in into my face again, jumping in, I'm gonna go in with this Smashbus spray water and then, um, why did I keep saying spray water? Water spray. And then I'm adding up this jelly from Clinique. It's a new one that just came out recently and I really love the light tester. For my pores, I'm using this pore eraser that I got on my Botsy Charm Butts and I love it so far, it's just amazing. And then this tip kind of works out for me. I have really large pores between my nose and my cheeks. So I'm putting up this foundation from Clinique since it has a creamier texture and just where my pores are to conceal better and then I will be adding up my foundation on top. For foundation today, we're gonna be using the Wet n Wild. This is one of my drugstore favorite foundation. It goes in very matte, but you guys have to make sure, like, prepare your skin very well just for that foundation to look very smooth at the same time because I feel like if you don't, it's gonna look cakey and it will not look good at all. Mm -hmm. 
going in with this concealer from Maybelline. It's called H Rewind Eye Amaze. I've used this concealer three times, even when I go out, and it just stays on very well. And I love how the baking looks and the texture just looks very soft. It does not crease at all, so I really recommend it. After that concealer, it's well done put on. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> well done put on. After the concealer is already on, we're going to go ahead and start baking. And for baking powder, I'm using this powder from The Revolution Company. This is one of my favorite ones after the Laura Mercier because it just makes that baking look like, you know, like... For powder, we're going to be using Fit Me, you know. <laughs> we're going to be using the Fit Me powder, and I'm just adding it up on top of this foundation. It's very soft, so I really love the way it looks on top of it. Then from contour, for contour, you guys already know my accent is just so strong sometimes. For contour, we're going to be using the MAC powder, as you guys have seen on my videos before, on my past tutorials. I always use this powder first because it really helps to contour my face like really nice and natural. And then I add up a little bit of bronzer or other color on top. Just to make sure my nose looks like very and slim, I'm gonna make sure and do that nice contour because you guys know I have a big nose. So I have to make it look like very tiny for it to look better. So I'm using up the same uh, powder from MAC just to make sure that contour looks like bomb for mascara i'm gonna go in with better than sets mascara i like this mascara but you guys already know my number one mascara is lancome hypnos drama so i will never change that but this is still a really good mascara then with this uh purple color purplish pink i might be wrong you already know um i'm gonna be using a little bit under my eyes just to make it pop and then going in with the palette from Anastasia. I'm gonna make sure and deep out that contour a little bit more and then add on some highlighter. For blush today, we are going to be using Patrick Star. I love this color because it's such a rossy feminine color. And then I'm going to go ahead and start with the lips. And for lips, I'm using this lip pencil from Lancome. This is one of my favorite colors because it's just such a very nice nude. And you can use any lipstick with it. I feel like it works with any lipstick color that you wear that it's nude. And then I got this lipstick from Sephora, which it has a metallic finish to it. And then I'm just adding a little bit more pencil on top. Okay, you guys, this is the end of this video. I really hope you guys liked it and enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments below. Thank you for watching.